An old town alley just got a little brighter. KPVI News that works for you, journalist Deanne Coffin joins us now live from the KPVI newsroom to explain. Deanne. Thanks, Matt. I met with local artists and the building owner who helped the community express themselves while also adding color to a normal alley. Cottonwood Junction building owner Michael Snyder says this Old Town Alley art gallery project all started when he noticed a family taking pictures next to his building that had been tagged. And I thought, you know, hey, wouldn't it be cool to have more art back here? He put an art project team together and through social media put out a call to all artists in the community. And uh, four months later, Lo and behold, here we are. About 30 artists participated in this alley of art, making long-lasting friendships while painting their interpretation of the project's theme, Pocatello, A Reason to Smile. It's a sense of community. Uh, people love art. Um, there's not a lot of public art here in Pocatello, and uh, I think they really enjoy it. And also, it, uh, the artists, it bonds them together this week that they put this stuff together. Um, it really, we have a lot of really, really sweet, nice experiences um, here on the, in this alley. Michael shows off some of the artwork showcased in the Alley Art Gallery and what inspired each of the artists. He says his team surprised him with a painting of his dog, Winston, that he about lost recently. Michael also showed us what he painted on the wall and how the music scene in Pocatello is what inspired his art piece. While Heidi Yerbeck paints an elephant that's inspired by the long pipe on the wall as the trunk of the elephant. Heidi says the alley mural represents progression. I'm hoping that we can carry this throughout the city into different areas and continue to layer different murals on top of this project. Uh, can just continue on pulling people together and uh, making brighter areas in the, in the city and making things more fun. Although the outdoor art gallery is hidden back in the alley behind the buildings on Main Street, artists say the paintings still get attention. It is part of the uniqueness, but I think also there's more people in this alley than you would think. I mean, all day long we've had people come back and forth uh, for the last 10 days. It's pretty been pretty amazing. And organizers hope to get more community members involved by also expressing themselves through Art in the Alley. Reporting live from the newsroom, I'm Deanne Coffin, KPVI, news that works for you.